Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so if your discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Why, hello my little babies. Welcome to, I was about to say new makeup nonsense bingo, but that's not it. Hi, <laughs> that's Friday. Hi. <laughs> in today's video, we have a good old fashioned try on, except we have nothing but holiday makeup because your girl loves holiday makeup. I love it. I love wasting my money so you don't have to. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just excited. I really love holiday packaging and I love all the little stuff that comes along with it. So in today's video, we have three different products. We're gonna be featuring the <sighs> Gucci bronzer. I know, I know, I know, I know. But the Gucci bronzer, we're gonna be talking about it. The major holiday face palette from Patrick Ta. And we got some products from the MAC holiday collection. Now, before I get all Andy Rooney and give you my unfiltered thoughts about these products and whether they are worth checking out, especially during the Sephora sale, minus the Mac stuff because that's not available there unless you live in Canada. But before I do all of that, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you again to Pair Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. What can I say that I haven't already said about this fantastic brand? They make purchasing eyeglasses so seamless. If only the rest of my life would be this way. <laughs> And I know I've said this before and I'll say it again, but do you know how fun it is to do this or this or even this? I could keep going and going and going and going, but for the sake of this video, nobody has nine hours to kill. Pear Eyewear is a revolutionary eyewear brand that is changing how the world wears glasses. They offer high quality, affordable, customizable prescriptions, including blue light glasses, and have frame styles for everyone. The process is oh so seamless. First, you pick your base frame. And trust me when I say nothing is scarier than buying glasses online. But thanks to their virtual try-on, you will never have to live in fear thinking, <sighs> did I choose wisely? Now, if I can offer you a recommendation, it would be to check out the Murphy. If you're looking for an extra wide frame that gives that oversized feel without it being too big or too small, it's basically the Goldilocks of frames. This is for you. And again, I love picking clear because again, I'm just living out my Jeff Goldblum fantasy. <laughs> But they do come in other shades as well. But once you pick out your base, you get to pick out your top frames. And there's so much to choose from. There's literally something for everybody. And it's almost impossible to not buy them all. But if I can offer you one suggestion, it would be to pick up these sunglass frames. Y'all have no idea how much of a game changer it is. I no longer have to fear smearing foundation all over my nose, taking off my sunglasses and putting my regular glasses on because all I have to do is just pop the top. When I say it's life-changing, baby, it's life-changing. <laughs> Once you pick out your base and frames, all you have to do is just wait for these babies to show up on your doorstep. So if you're interested in checking out Pear Eyewear, click the link in the description box to get 15% off your first pair. Thank you again to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. And y'all, go support the sponsor says support your garbage queen and make sure you get the sunglass top, okay? This is crucial. <laughs> now that said, let me show you how I created this masterpiece. So the first product that I'm gonna use is um, one that I have used in the past, but I never liked it because I felt like it was overrated. And a lot of people told me, hey, you got the wrong shade. That's why you don't like it. So <laughs> I'm trying this again. Um, and I was just gonna get the normal Gucci bronzer, but they did release some holiday packaging. And I figured, you know what? If I'm gonna fail spectacularly, I might as well have something pretty to look at. So we have the Gucci bronzer in the shade 01, which is the fairest shade. And we're gonna hope for the best here, okay? <laughs> We're gonna hope for the best. I have no expectations. The reason why I don't like the Gucci bronzer one, it kind of has that florally uh, vagina smell that, mm, yeah, okay. I have to like really inhale it, but it does smell like a florally old vagina. Not, not a fan of that. But I felt like the formula was kind of bad. It was muddy, it was patchy, it was just fucking gross. For the amount of money that I spent, this shit should be literally cooking me fucking breakfast. And it doesn't do any of that. If anything, it just sits there and mocks me and my bank account. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna try it again. And I can't wait to be like, nope, I was right, you were wrong, fuck you. <laughs> Or what's really probably gonna happen is that I'm going to like it and I'm gonna be really mad at myself. So let's try. <laughs> this is what she looks like. She, I mean, she's pretty. There's no denying that. Comes also with that little weird Barbie brush that I'm not even gonna fucking attempt to use. Okay, so, all right. 
Got a nice amount of product. You know, sometimes on this channel, I have to issue apologies, <laughs> and I am sorry, okay? Listen, all right, this is... <sighs> this is good. Okay, this is good. I like how this looks on my face, and I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate this so much. This is bullshit. All right, okay, okay. Fuck, I really like this. I hate, I hate, mmm. Okay, I see what you're saying, people, okay? Maybe the other shade just, just, just was like a whole big bag of bullshit. But this one, though, this one is just, she's so nice. The biggest difference that I notice immediately when using this product is that it doesn't look patchy on my skin. It doesn't make me look like I'm dirty looking. <laughs> It's actually blending really, really nicely into the skin, and it's kind of giving a really nice, like, vacation-y glow, which I love. It's not warm. It's definitely, like, cool, neutral. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Jones Road, maybe a little bit lighter, though, and I cannot stop applying it to my face. I feel like before, I really looked like a fucking potato, like a straight up baked potato cut open. And now I'm like a lightly toasted potato. <laughs> I'm a lightly toasted potato. This is nice. I like it. <laughs> I like it and I hate that I like it. And it makes me sad because I was comfortable thinking that that product was bullshit. <sighs> I just had the wrong shade. Don't gloat. Okay. <laughs> I could feel people that'd be like, I tapped you! I could feel you. <sighs> I hear you wherever you are in the world. I look so cute. I look lightly toasted. I'm an adorable cupcake. A lightly bronzed cupcake. You know what I also want to do to, oof, okay, actually, hold on. We're not doing that yet. The next product I want to use is something that came broken. So this is a new Patrick Ta palette and she arrived the other day and this one pink shade literally exploded all over the fucking palette and I'm kind of terrified of it a little bit because remnants is still everywhere. Now, initially I was going to take it to the Sephora store, but when I looked online, I noticed that this product is no longer available and I'm like, oh, fuck me. I wind up calling Sephora to see if, I don't know, maybe, maybe they have an idea of when it might come back into stock because I definitely want the palette. Um, unfortunately, they didn't know, but they did offer me a full refund and said, hey, you can keep this. So I was like, okay, fine, sure. Now what I have in this palette now, right, are these three shades, these three shimmers, and these two blushes. And I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm happy that the shade came busted, but I mean, these are kind of just really just strong glitter bukkake esque Like, I don't think I was really missing anything kind of an eyeshadow. So I'm not that upset about it. And plus the fact that I got my money back, I'm actually really, really happy. <laughs> Cause I kind of have a feeling this is not gonna be super great, especially considering how the shimmers look and all that stuff. What we have beside the four busted shadows is we have two different blushes. We have the cream and powder formula. Those are the little swatches. So I'm not gonna use the cream today. I'm actually just going to use the powder. So I'm gonna do a combination of both of these blushes. Cause that pink, she is very light. A little bit of that one right on top of it. <gasps> oh, oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I love this. I like Patrick Ta's formula because one, it is super pigmented, but they blend out very, very easily. They have great longevity. And I always feel like I get compliments every time I wear these blushes out. He is like the master of pink blush in my opinion. I love all his little pink blushes. They're so cute. This is adorable. I like it because it's like, yes, you can have a full on intense moment, but if you wanted to blend it out, you can do that too. And I feel like I'm giving you 80s. <laughs> And that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? I'm a child of the 80s. This makes me very, very happy. I like it because it looks like, you know, just came in from the cold, like, ooh, like a Campbell's Soup Kid. I love it. Now I feel like I'm giving you Santa Claus. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm gonna try to fix this. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of giving you Santa Claus a little bit. But I mean, it is the holidays after all, right? Um, I think I went a little too far with putting it on my nose. And again, I really look like I just came out of the cold. <laughs> 
I think it's because it's not possible to do that here in Florida. So I have to make my own Santa Claus look. <laughs> But this is cute though. I like it. Now, before I move on to eyeshadows, I do want to show you something else that I picked up. I couldn't help it. This fucking bag is so cute. Now, within the bag, you get a liquid lipstick a lipstick and a lip liner. I could kind of care less about those products. I'm just in it for the bag. I love a good puffy bag and oh my God, I just love it. I love it so much. This is so cute. But the other stuff that I wanted to pick up from the MAC Holiday Collection is one, their highlighter, which, ooh, bitch, this is fun. It's definitely like a gold pink. And then of course I picked up one of the single eyeshadows, which is this little green guy here. In theory, I could totally wear this, but we're not gonna use the green one today. I'm gonna use that in a separate video. But I am gonna use the highlighter though, because I feel like this highlighter is gonna go with the look. When it comes to holiday collections or like Lunar New Year stuff, I really love Max highlighters. I love them so much, they're so good. They're some of my favorite things that I get around the holiday time. And this is so pretty. She is wet, she is slutty. She has like a pink golden sheen to it that is pairing very, very perfectly with my little pink cheeks. We are a fan. There is a little bit of glitter, but it's not terrible. Take a large powder brush, start kind of buffing this away. I feel very glowy. I love this. I think it looks so cute. It's like a really cute little nice holiday look. So the next thing I wanna do is use one of the pink shadows. There's like this nice pink gold one in here that I feel like is going to pair very, very nicely with the MAC highlighter, but I kinda wanna put a little something down on my base. So I'm gonna go back into the bronzer and we're just gonna basically use this as like a crease shade and a little bit all over the lid kind of shade. Just want a little something, just have a little bit of definition before I let that shimmer shine. Now that we have a little bit of a base down, I'm gonna take a little bit of NYX glitter glue and I'm going to paint it all over the eyelid. Kind of have a feeling <laughs> this shadow is gonna be very messy. So we are gonna take our time. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I made the right decision. It's definitely there. Ah, okay, there you go. So while it does show up, with a brush, I feel like there's much better payoff when you use your finger. And the real shocker, I don't see any sort of glitter bukkake, which is so fucking wild because when this busted <laughs> everywhere, I was literally cleaning sparkles out of my asshole for days. This, I don't see anything. Like this looks good. What the hell? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. All right, okay, Patrick Ta. Usually their shimmers are kind of like, lackluster for me and I'm really all about their mattes. So I kind of wish that there were at least two mattes in this palette and two sparkle shades. That would be everything, but no, we didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, this is really pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna use my finger again. You definitely need that finger. Otherwise it's there, but it's just very, very light. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of liner, some mascara and uh, finish it with a lip and then we're gonna talk about it. Here's your completed look. I really, really like this. The one thing that I didn't film is the lip and I actually went back and uh, used this from MAC because I picked this up and I love it. So actually, let me just talk a little bit about this collection first and then we'll get into the other products. So the Powdered Snow Powder Kiss Lip Kit in Pink retails for $44. In this collection, you get this beautiful, beautiful makeup bag and you get three different lip products. You get a lip pencil in the shade Dervish, a Powdered Kiss Liquid Lip Color in the shade Coco Coral and a Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade Slush Now. I think this is the perfect little combination. I had no problems with application. I'm not a huge fan of lip liner, but for this being a pencil, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna like it. I actually really enjoyed it. This is a very, very comfortable pencil. And I really like the color, so it's probably something that I would definitely wear more in the future, which is funny because again, I don't really like lip liners, but I like the color and the fact that the application was just so easy, I'm a fan. I like the Powder Kiss line. I think it's really good. And overall, just for $44, for this really cute little bag and three lip products. I feel like this was worth it. This was definitely worth checking out. If you are someone that likes the MAC formula or if you wanna give a nice little gift, I feel like this is really, really perfect. And again, the makeup bag is perfect quality. So we love that. Now, I also did pick up the little eyeshadow, which we're not gonna talk about today because I didn't use it. We're gonna feature that in a future video. But the other thing that I wanna mention is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This highlighter, it's so good. So this retails for $42. This is in the color Gleamscape Rose Gold. And it's exactly that. It's just a beautiful rose gold duochrome type shade where you have like a very nice pink to like yellow gold flip that really ties in perfectly with the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today. I love MAC highlighters. I think they're 
fucking perfection. And around the holidays and Lunar New Year, they just, ugh, they always release something really, really awesome that has not only a beautiful pan embossing, but a formula to match. I like this formula because it's very, very wet. It's very slutty and it's like a nice, strong highlighter. If you're someone that doesn't like a strong highlighter, then maybe you might not like this, but there is a little bit of glitter reflect in it, but the glitter is contained and it's very, very minimal. I'm not noticing any sort of weird texture or any sort of rogue glitter bukkake. This was perfect. So I love this. These were definitely worth checking out. I am hoping that the eyeshadow is going to be good. We'll cross that bridge in the future. Now the next product I want to talk about is the Gucci bronzer. Okay. <laughs> So I picked this up in Bloomingdale's. It was $65, which is the normal price for the bronzer. And I, um, I've said a lot of shit about this bronzer because when I had it and the color that I had, it just wasn't good. I think I had it in the shade light. I believe it was either two or three. I can't remember. It was so many yonders ago, but in any case, it was one of those products that just did not look good on me. It made my skin look dirty, muddy, patchy. It looked like I rolled out of a bush. I fucking hated it. I hated the formula. I hated that weird florally vagina old woman smell. I hated all of it. It was gross. But everyone kept saying, you got the wrong shade, bitch. You got the wrong shade. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm not hearing that. Until they decided to release a holiday collection. <laughs> so in Bloomingdale's, they launched this. And it's basically the bronzer, except in this fun, shining-esque sort of case, which I fucking love and obsessed with. I want this as a carpet, okay? I figured, you know what? Let me try the lightest shade, which is zero one. It's good. <laughs> It's really good. I'm actually kind of really mad at myself for not trying this sooner and being such a stubborn little fuck face because this is actually a very, very good product. Yes, it does still have that florally vagina smell. So if you're not into that, you're not gonna love this, but I don't have the best sense of smell and I only can really get that whiff is when I put my nose right to the compact. When applying it to the face, I don't smell anything. So that's good. But again, I don't have the best sense of smell, so keep that in mind. That said, I love this color. Now, when it comes to bronzer, I am a fan of either neutral or cool tone. This definitely falls right in the neutral category. I feel like it's equal parts cool and warm. It brings a nice, like, subtle vacation moment to the skin without it looking like I had a bad fake tan. I think it adhered to the skin perfectly. I didn't notice any skipping, any bullshit. Everything just looked fucking amazing. My skin looked lightly toasted. <laughs> I was a lightly toasted chicken, and it was just glorious. It reminds me of the Jones Road bronzer, except more neutral and less rosy. But I could definitely see them being within the same family. This product was so good. <laughs> I'm actually really, really surprised. Um, I'm mad. Listen, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I will always admit that. And I was wrong. I was wrong about this product. This product is really fucking good. I love how my skin looks. I just, I look adorable. I look cute as a button and it's all thanks to beautiful Gucci bronzer. Now, when I started this video, I look like a straight up fucking cut open baked potato. <laughs> was shockingly white. And I was so happy that this bronzer brought some color, some warmth, some life into my face, and I can't wait to continue to use it. So I don't know if you can necessarily get the holiday packaging anymore, because I just went on the Bloomingdale site. I don't see it. So I feel like it was a very, very small limited run. Um, but if you do want to check this bronzer out, and if you do look like me, a potato, I, I would totally invite you to check this out, but maybe wait for the Sephora sale since that's right around the corner. So, um, yeah, this was great. This was, this was fucking great. This was great. I regret nothing. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the Patrick Ta palette. So the Patrick Ta Major Holiday Face Palette retails for $65. This is a limited edition face palette that gives you sparkle, shimmer, and a festive glow featuring two new blush shades and an eyeshadow quad. So like I mentioned before, this palette came to me busted. And because of that, I was able to get a full refund. So thank you so much, Sephora. And thank you for letting me keep this product and not sending it back. That was really, really lovely. So keep in mind that this costs me nothing, okay? When it comes to the Patrick Ta blush formula, I really enjoy the blushes. I always found them to be really, really cool. And I feel like this brand is like just my go-to if I want to find like a beautiful, nice pink blush. Now I know in this formula, you technically have to put the powder down first and then the cream on top of that. And that's just something that I don't, I don't really do. I don't fuck with. I don't like how it looks on my skin per se, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the wrong way or the bad way to do it. If you like doing it that way, that's great. It just doesn't work for me. So in today's video, I only use the powder blushes. I think had I started the video maybe a little bit earlier where I didn't put setting powder down, I probably
probably would have put the cream product down first and then powder and then powdered blush, but whatever. I'll definitely let you know in the future if the cream is exactly what I know it to be in other blush duos that I own from the brand. So that said, when it comes to the powder, these are fucking fantastic. It's everything that I love from the Patrick Ta brand. They're pigmented, but very, very easy to blend out. So if you do not want to have an Annabelle possessed doll moment, you can make it in like a nice little like watercolor moment. It's just so pretty. It has great longevity and it's just such beautiful shades of pink. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I cannot wait to use the cream next. I'm so excited about that. So blush wise, Everything's fine. We love her, right? <laughs> when it comes to the eyeshadow quad, I'm a little disappointed. One, because it came smashed to pieces. And I'm not the only one. Leah Janae also mentioned that her palette did the same exact thing. And I have been getting comments from others on Instagram saying the same fucking thing. So it just makes me wonder, like, did y'all rush the palette? Like, what's going on? Like, there's a huge quality control here. And for $65, this shit should come intact. You shouldn't be dealing with any bullshit, especially for that price tag. Now that said, I only used two of the shimmers in this palette. So what I decided to put all over the lid was this top one here, which is this very beautiful rose gold shade. And I used the shade underneath it, which kind of looks champagne-y. Really, it's just sparkles. <laughs> like there's no real color to it or anything like that. I actually have that in the inner corner. I don't even know if you could fucking tell. When it comes to the brand shimmers, I'm not the biggest fan. When I think about the first palette that they ever launched, I'm not a fan. I was not a fan of it. And in the second, palette that they launched I was like okay okay this is a little bit better this is a little bit better which actually hold on a second sorry about that I thought I had the second palette somewhere close to me but I'm currently rearranging everything and I moved around a lot of shit now I don't know where it is it's somewhere in this room but I don't know where it is anyway I was thinking about that palette because I know there were some like rose gold moments in it which kind of makes me question like whether you really need this palette or not but I don't have that palette in front of me <laughs> I don't know where the fuck it is. It's somewhere in this cavern of bullshit. Anyway, so that shade kind of reminded me of that palette. But the other two shades, I mean, they're okay. They're okay. They're fine. They're definitely really, really, really sparkly. I don't know. I just don't feel like there's anything like super special about them, which is really, really fucking annoying, especially for that price point. But what I can say and what I do appreciate is that when I did apply the shimmers onto the eye, I didn't notice any sort of glitter bukkake, which is kind of wild to me because I felt like it should be raining all down my face and that did not happen. When applied with a brush, everything stayed intact, but it wasn't until I used my finger where I noticed that it was really, really opaque. Once I did that, then I was like, oh shit, okay, I can really see the flip. It looks very, very beautiful. And it kind of gives you that celestial alien slut moment. And we love that. But is it really worth the $65 price tag? Mm, not really. I think if you were really interested in checking this out, it's like, maybe you should kind of consider getting maybe a blush duo and then go to an indie brand for like fun, sparkly, shifty shades. Like these are fine, but I just don't think they were worth the $65 price tag. I'm also noticing a little bit of hard panning and I know that's from my fatty, fatty oils in my fingers, but that's kind of also disappointing too. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this palette. Like I like the blushes. I think when it comes to the shimmers, like I don't mind this look, but I definitely feel like I'm going to be reaching other palettes than really this one. Now, what I think they should have done was included two mattes instead of four shimmers. If they had two mattes and two shimmers, I think that would have been perfect. For $65, especially if I wanted to be like an all-encompassing face palette, I feel like so much more longevity. Plus it would be another wonderful opportunity for people to see how beautiful the matte formula is. Shimmers are fine, but the mattes are like fucking where it's that. So like I mentioned before, this palette came busted, hence I got a full refund. For a full refund, I'm not that mad about it, right? But had this come perfectly and I spent $65, I'd feel some type of way about it. I'd be like, nah, this wasn't really worth checking out. I think I probably would have picked this up during some sort of sale. So if you were interested in checking this out, I totally think it's worth it during a sale. I don't think it's worth a full price, especially with the quality control issue. But even beyond that, half the palette is just okay. It's just okay. There's nothing to really write home about. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products. And if you do, do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you feel completely differently? Let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and i just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one if you want to know what's currently on my face everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below and i'll see you little cupcakes later bye